Our learning objective for this lesson is I can give reasons for my money decisions. We're going to be looking today at things that we hold important, things that we value. Giving you a bit of a clue, what do you think value might mean? Talk to the person next to you, your partner, what does value mean? Children at Dunkirk Primary School are talking money. Right, hands up, who's got an idea what value might mean? Elijah? Well, there's two types of value, yeah. personal value and money value. Money value is like if I went to the shop and bought a packet of sweets for 50p, that 50p would be that packet of sweets value. Well done, but value. personal value means that something means a lot to you. So, Elijah was right. There was we can all remember doing money sums in maths lessons at school. It was pounds, shillings and pence in my day. But this lesson is about more than just numeracy. It's called life skills. I think I'm going to put pets on the same line as family because in my house, my pets are my family. The idea is to make children from as young as five more savvy about the value of money. Food's probably more important than all of them because it helps us to survive. What changes have you seen over the last two years sure. since you've introduced this subject within the curriculum? Um, I think it's, it's meant for the school that the, the teachers are, are changing the way they're teaching. They're doing more things like this lesson um, where it's not necessarily um, write everything down and all the evidence behind it. I think children sometimes just need to, to talk and debate things and I think that really um, has come across in all lessons. Um, for example, before we got the award, um, I asked the, a child where money came from and they said, oh, it comes from the bank and they just assumed it was there. And now you ask the same child, oh, uh, well, my mum and dad earned it and you can really see that they've understood where money comes from and what they need to be able to do to be financially safe when they're older. Hands up, which is more important, food or pets? Help me out here, Kyra. The lesson itself was if they could have anything in the world that they wanted, had all the money in the world, what would they want? And then we'll think about needs. If you only earned a certain amount of money within your work or with pocket money, what are the important things, what do you need? We've got food. In theory, that should mean less pestering of parents. We've got shelter. What's shelter mean? Shelter means like when you've got a roof over your head, like we've got our house to protect us. We teach it here in, in Foundation, which are the really little ones, um, in terms of tuck shops and, you know, pretend shops and things like that, and then right up to the values of things in Year 5 and 6. And I just think, um, because they're already spending money at that age, they're already saving for things in their pocket money, so why should they wait until their secondary school to understand about that pocket money that they're getting? It's better to, as soon as they get it, to learn about the values of money than wait till afterwards. Money is special, special to us. Um, you you um, can use money for lots of different things. And what about the value of money? What have you learned about the value of money? Um, um, value, um, things which are val valuable to you and things what are special. If I'd want something, I would want a mansion to live in or if I need something, I would need food. We learnt how to add the money up and take the money away and how, um, a way, to, a way to use them and how you get the money. And have you gone home to your mum and dad and told them anything about money and about what you've learnt? Yeah. What have you told them? I told them that um, we learnt how to spend money and what to buy, which is important, and what you need to spend the money on. And what do you think is most important, wanting or needing? Mm, yeah. In the end, um, Yes, we can all want things, but we can't always have them, at least straight away. We need to learn the benefits of saving um, or understand that we can't have everything that we want. Yeah, yeah. Pets, yeah. Pets, yeah. pets are living yeah, things, but then, and a mansion is just like... Dunkirk Primary yeah, is one of 21 schools across the country involved in this project. It's run by a charity called PFEG, Personal Finance Education Group. And the information services company Experian, which has its headquarters in Nottingham, is funding it, £360,000 over three years. Dunkirk School is now recognised as a centre of excellence in financial education.
There's an old saying that money slips through fingers like sand through an hourglass. And it seems that's particularly true for people in Nottingham. The information services company Experian has done some research which shows Nottingham second to bottom when it comes to people's ability to handle their own money. We've used Experian data to sort of rank areas of the country based on what we've termed financial sophistication. So that looks at things like uh, how capable people are with financial issues uh, and, and, and whether they're actually using financial products like bank accounts and savings and so on. And, and Nottingham unfortunately came out um, quite badly in the, in the research. So, so clearly it's, it's an opportunity for us being right on our doorstep to start working in schools like Dun Dunkirk and, and, and try to make, make a difference and, and, and effect a change there. You know, at this school we have a mixture of parents, some are below the poverty line, some are, are really far above it. Um, they come from different countries to study and are um, you know, quite well off, but both sets of parents still need to learn finance and, and learn money matters and life skills and I think the children go home having learnt this sort of thing and talking to their parents about it and hopefully the parents are taking it on board as well. Hello, welcome, welcome to, to Bloomfield's Talk Shop. Shop. How can we help you? Can I please have one ice cream? Of course. It may be let's pretend at the age of 10, but the idea is that when these children grow up and have their own bank accounts and mortgages, they'll be more adept at keeping in the black. And it's an idea that's taking off. From September, financial education will be a compulsory part of the national curriculum in every secondary school in England. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hi, can I have a lollipop?